Monday. This is going to be a kind of a quick one because I'm just out of time. Um, I didn't get much footage on it, but we got a new lift in the shop and a new toolbox. That was my picks this week. Uh, I've been working hard at the railroad, so it's been kind of hard to be in this shop, but I did get it put in. I got all this mess right here. Just a big pile of furniture pads and everything. Bye-bye. And now we got a push mower left in here. It operates. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that crank right there. You crank it up, and it'll go all the way up to here. I mean, way high enough. Ow. Ah. Anyway, works like that. That little deal and pull it out. And it. Goes up here. Now I'm in it. But, as you can see, I'm six foot, and it's over knee high. Put you in a seated position. That's not even all the way up yet. Now it's up to my butt. But anyway, you get the idea. I gotta put you down for a second. Drop that back down. The only thing I don't like about it, if I was to let go of this, it'd just go flying. And if it's got something on it, you know. It's going to be a little hard to control, but I think we can manage. It's only got like a 200 pound lift capacity. It ain't a whole lot, but hey, if I push more lift, and I move my, some parts over the corner, this ain't permanent. I just had to have a place to set it. As you can see, I found my stool. And I gotta get that scooter out of there with the parts sitting in the seat. This one quit working. The one I'm sitting in. Batteries are actually getting weak in it, so I'm gonna get the batteries out of that one, putting this one. It's a little thing here has got a yeah, four foot right there where mine's at. It's junk. It was junk when I got it. I only get five bucks for it. First time I put any weight on it. Well, it don't look very good. Anyway, Next thing, we're going to be trying to get some place for that set of drawers so I can get my press without having to move a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'll be going to be under that window up the head of this cliff. Right now, there's a whole bunch of metal on the floor down there because boxes give way. If I get some barrels, I'm going to do that. And we got my acetylene kit, which is hard to get to, but I gotta dig it out all the time. I'd like to put it over here in front of the press. And it'd be the only thing in front of the press. Maybe I'll put that over there next to that compressor, which is broke, but I'm using the air tank on it. The compressor is actually right there. But can't see it. Yeah, maybe you can see a little bit of it. Right there. Into my finger. And there's a jack I don't use anymore because I don't drive a big truck. Uh, 
but I still use it on my pickup occasionally. Battery charger, my main toolbox, mainly parts in that box. The red box is Dad's toolbox, and it's mainly full of tools. Some of it's my tool, didn't fit over here. And of course, I got my 1025R lawnmower carrier. More parts. Uh, diesel tank, the red thing, the tractor, and cleaning. And torpedo heater in the wintertime. Of course, you got the fan. And you got more parts, and air tools, SM's uh, motorcycle saddlebags, and a suitcase up there. More parts on the wall. By the way, I built this. I don't know if you can see that, it got dark. That is a 12 and a half horse Briggs and Stratton engine shroud with a clock mounted in it. <laughs> Again, more parts. Got blades in the, under, behind those boxes. Uh, more tools in a little red box. Got a welder. Stick welder that I don't use, I'll probably put it in storage. I very seldom use it. A little foley, it works too, but it needs new leads. I got a wire welder behind that box. That refrigerator, microwave, electric heater. Uh, the refrigerator is actually a heat box for the wintertime. Uh, it's got a little heating element in it. Uh, the refrigerator quit, and I made use the old refrigerator. Uh, let's see, there's a breaker box, and then you got my little lift up here. That I don't know if you've seen that in the video yet or not. And I wonder why it's got a hole in the roof, or a hole in the ceiling. See daylight run, running through that. That's going to be hopefully fixed before winter. But there's mowers I got for sale. As a matter of fact, this back one is actually sold if the guy ever comes and picks it up. Um, got mowers out there, of course, that we've seen. Some of them we haven't. You've just seen the background I've had for a while. But anyway, of course, there's my old pickup. That's just kind of a shop tour. We're going to call this a mower Monday, even though the only thing I've done is just showed you some mowers sitting here. So, please rate, comment, and subscribe. By the way, that's my extremely messy bench. Mostly empty boxes. That's going to get cleaned up real quick. Uh, oh, I love these. We'll show that sometime this winter. Those are called edge tamers. Go on the bottom of your bucket when you're blading snow, so you can actually blade snow without taking your gravel with it. Learn more about them at edgetamers.com. Uh, Tractor Time with Tim has actually got. I think there's a promo code for him, TTWT. I think that's one that's got a promo code. But uh, he's the one that actually got me on him, so. Uh, anyway, put them on the bottom of your bucket. You can actually take the uh, snow out of your yard if you want to. I, he's, got, he's got a video on that. And I'll see if I can post a link in the description. I ain't sure if I'm going to get it done or not, but I am out of time. I'm actually going to have to go to work here in a little bit. We'll take a shower and get ready to go to work. But, uh, anyway, that's another Mower Monday. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.